I got it! I got it! I got it! Dingy ahoy. Dingy off the port bow! Dingy off the port bow! Dingy off the port bow! Captain! Captain! There's a dingy off the port! Dingy! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! Where is it? Uh, it's right here, Captain. I never thought I'd see it with my own eye. Tickets to the Five Nights at Freddy's Moving! It's just the title screen. Oh, boy. Who's there? Abby? Garrett? Garrett, is that you? Garrett? Mike. Why did you let me follow the bad man? Why? Garrett, I... I, I didn't... I, I didn't know. Why did you let me follow him all alone, Mike? Garrett, I, I just... I, I, I didn't... with the Winnie the Pooh dream again. Morning, Mike. Hey. Hey, Abby. You okay? Yeah, just, just bad dream again, I guess. Well, dang, that sucks. How's that stable career going, you know, to afford the house that we live in? Oh, it's, uh, it's going, it's going great. Yeah. That didn't sound too confident. Look, Abby, it's fine. I I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Door. Uh, hello? Hi there, I'm Doco. Hi, Doco. What are you doing at my front door? I got your mail for ya. Oh, thanks, man. You know, nice, so nice of a mailman to actually bring the mail to the door. Did he also mention I'm from Child Protective Services? Shit. Your Aunt Jane sent me. Uh, of course she did. Hey, you know, if you don't have a stable income within the next, uh, you know, 24 hours, we're gonna get to come take Abby from you. I don't trust that woman. Yes, yes, I know. She has 14 DUIs and 7 counts of murder. She does have a roof over her head, however, thanks to her husband, who has a completely clean record somehow. She got married? Yeah, she told me apparently she invited Abby to the wedding, but not you. So I don't know how that happened. Is that what Abby said that school field trip was? What the hell? Anyways, uh, hope you have a good day. Uh, go, go, I'll see you later. 24 hours, potentially. Hope you have a job. Ugh. <sighs> Ooh, what's that say? Notice of... I'm in fourth grade. I can't read that. It's delinquency. Since I don't have a job, if I don't get one in the next 24 hours, they're gonna 
come take you and you have to go live with Aunt Jane. Oh, yeah, Aunt Jane. This is not, oh, yeah, Aunt Jane. She's crazy. She went off the deep end ever since mom and dad mysteriously disappeared out of nowhere. And that was after Garrett disappeared mysteriously. Yeah, I wonder what's up with her family mysteriously disappearing. That's besides the point. She's got that new husband, apparently. That was such a nice ceremony. Which grade field trip was this? Second grade. Ugh. And why didn't you tell me? Well, because Aunt Jane said if you showed your stinking face there, then she was going to beat the shit out of you. Oh, you can't say that. You say it all the time, though. Ugh. So why don't you have a job anyway? I, look, I, the only reason I don't got a job is because, well, you know, this guy was this kid, and then there was a rabbit guy in a rabbit costume. I think he was doing an Easter thing, which is really weird because it's like November. Yeah, that is really weird. Anyways, he started beating his kid up, and I felt it was my job as a mall security guy to, you know, beat him up. I don't think that's how that works, Mike. What? His kid was getting beat. I didn't want him to get beat. And then Jeremy fired me, and that was pretty much the end of that. Well, what are you gonna do now? Well, on top of that, coincidentally, a guy named Steve walked up to me, you know, handed me his business card. I've been sleep deprived lately since I've been having all those nightmares about my dead brother. Our dead brother? You weren't alive when he died. That doesn't make him any less of my brother. <laughs> Whatever. Point being, he gave me his card for a security gig that works night shift. Oh, cool. That means I'll have the house out of myself. No, 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 Misty. I'm not letting you just live in this house by yourself. I don't trust that. The amount of, you know, places people will go to these days is scary. Anyways, yeah, Steve gave me his business card, so I'm gonna give him a call and get the job. I think he said he would offer it to me tonight. Oh, that's very coincidental. All these coincidences are happening. Man, we're so coincident I'm gonna go watch cartoons. <sighs> oh, my phone! Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Hey, is this Steve? Oh, yeah, it's me, Steve! This is the guy I talked to in the mall earlier today? Yeah, yeah, this is Mike. Mike Schmidt. Yeah, and I'm Steve Raglan. Played by Matthew Lillard. I don't know what that means, but okay. I was wondering if that job offering was still available. Yes. Security gig. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Shut the place down years ago. Old owners just aren't quite ready to let go of it yet. You start tonight, 12 to 6 a.m. Just need to, you know, browse the place. Just look to see if any burglars break in. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> That's good. It's great. I, I mean, not good, but you know what I mean. I, I'll keep the place safe. Yeah, yeah, good to know, good to know. I'll put the drop keys in the drop box by the building. Have a good day, Mr. Schmidt. Uh, yeah, th hello? Hello? Well, I got the job. <laughs> Papa got you some new friends. All right, Abby, guess who just got a new job? Is it you? Yep. I don't know who else it could have been, but I'm happy for you. Uh-huh. So what are you gonna do? I'm taking you with me tonight. I think you'll like it. The place is pretty cool. Really? Yep. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I remember seeing commercials for that place all the time. Especially when I was real little. Yep, place where there's pizza and games, but uh, it shut down a long time ago, obviously. Well, you know, this is what... Steve told me. Oh, so there's nothing working? I mean, some of it probably is. I want to go play all the games and eat pizza and then run around and barf. Hey, hey, you need to sleep. You have school in the morning. Not about to let this, you know, ruin your school schedule. You need to get good grades. How are your grades doing, by the way? I gotta be in math. Eh, it's fine. Hey! Not an excuse to stay up, though. You get to peek around a little bit and then go to bed. Okay. All right, my shift starts in five minutes, so let's go. What? Oh, wow, this place is cool. Yeah, it's pretty empty, though. God, oh, God look at this robot. <laughs> I'm looking at Freddy Fazbear. I think he's behind this curtain. All right, you can have one peek, and then you're going to bed. Okay. I'm going to eat your soul. <laughs> it's dusty under there. But does he see anything? I saw Freddy. He said, you are going to eat pizza. I don't know why he'd say that. I don't even know how he's on. Maybe you're just hearing things because of all the dust. Okay. <sighs> all right. A little bed. Right in the play area. Good night, Mike. Good night, Abby. I love you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, looking good, Freddy. Da da dum 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 da dum dum. Hmm. Hmm. 
freaky things. <sighs> All right, well, time to work. There's a button to open the blind. Yeah, it's definitely outside of the building. Why do they even have that button? There's an intercom button to speak to people outside, too. That's what the microphone's for. Oh, it's me, the ghost of Freddy Fazbear. Ghost? Ah! Who are you? I'm a police officer by law. You're required to let me in the building. Well, you're all the way at the entrance. I don't care. Ugh. Hi, officer. Is there a problem? Hi. What do you want? Ugh. Hi. Can I have your badge? Um, that one. Okay, look, I'm an intern. Intern? It, it's like one in the morning. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, since you're required to let me in here by law, I wanted to hear about, you know, Freddy's and stuff. You must be the new security guard. This place hasn't had a guard in years. Really? Why haven't the owners sold this place yet? I don't know. It's a really good question. Have you met them yet? Who? Them. You know, the robots. Uh, I think I saw Freddy. He was like red and behind a curtain. That's Foxy, you dipshit. How do you think I'm supposed to know? What's your name? Mike. Mike Schmidt. And yours? Vanessa Monroe. Hey, guys. I want to apologize because uh, apparently... Uh, her name isn't Vanessa Monroe in the movie anymore, it's named Vanessa Shelley, uh, but I recorded this before it changed, so I just wanted to apologize for getting that wrong. Okay, I guess that's bye. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. Can, can you get off the property, please? Uh, listen, I, uh, am doing some off-duty hunting for ghosts, because, you know, ghosts and stuff. Why would there be ghosts? Because you don't know about the murders? Just come with me to the damn office. Oh boy, I get to lore dump! You know what, doing it right here is fine. What's this about murders? Well, back in the year 1985, five children went missing here. Five kids? How'd they go missing? Nobody knows. One day they were at Freddy's and the next day they were gone. Well, I sure hope they were. You know, they went home to their families. They never left Freddy's, but we, nobody could ever find them. So why, they get stuck in the ball pit or something? Would you just let me explain? All right, all right. They say somebody murdered them main suspect was the co-owner of the restaurant, William Afton. Huh. Good thing that name owes no significance to me. Anyways, he's went off the radar since the whole thing happened. And they say that he stuffed the kids inside of the robots. Really? The place started to smell so bad that they had to shut down and they haven't opened it since. Huh. So you're saying that there's ghost children possessing a bunch of giant robots? Yeah. Look, lady, thanks for the heads up, but I gotta get back to my job. But it's true! <sighs> Why don't you believe me? You're like a potentially real, potentially not real police officer that just showed up at the restaurant. I don't believe you for a second. Besides, nothing's happened yet. Why haven't the ghosts come out and eaten my soul or whatever? Just get out of here and go get some sleep. Ooh, you gotta go get people to give speeding tickets to or something. <sighs> Can I at least take this? What, to take what? This Freddy Fazbear Funko Pop that's sitting right here. Lady, my entire job is to keep people off the property and stop them from stealing things. I'm not letting you take that. That would be doing the exact opposite of my job. Come on, man. I'm just a big fan of this place and all the rumors. Lady, I... Why? You're abusing your right as an officer. I am above the law, damn it. Oh my god. Until, like, what? You want me to start showing some... I'll start playing Scary Maze Game on this monitor if you really want me to. You want to see a ghost? I can show you a ghost. Look. Look at this camera. Look, there's even a button to open the curtains. Do they look possessed to you? Do they look at all? They're just sitting there. They're lifeless robots. My younger sister is attempting to sleep in the other room. I've had a crazy last few days. My crazy aunt is attempting to take custody of my sister. I'd prefer you just get out of my hair and leave me the hell alone. Hey, were they staring at us before? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm sure just a draft came through and turned their heads to look right at us. In a building? You're the one talking about dead ghosts here and ghost children possessing stupid robots. Shut up. It's nothing. I'm sure of it.
happy Fazbear birthday, pizza, games, and cake. Open up your presents until your tummy aches. You are one year older on your special day. And when the song is over, you'll be on your way. Oh, that's just wonderful. <sighs> Can't see a thing. I don't have a flashlight on me. <sighs> the power breaker's gotta be around here somewhere. I think it's towards the front of the building. Why is it not in the security office? I wish I had the answer to that question. At least it's a little brighter in here. Yeah. There's the robots. I hope Abby's all right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Mike? Mike? Why is it so dark? Mike? He didn't leave me here, did he? Mike? Huh? What was that? <laughs> Freddy, is that you? And I'm not Freddy! I'm gonna get you, stupid little girl! I'm sorry, I'm really bad. I say the dark! I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> Mike, where are you? Is that a real cupcake? Oh. Ness, huh? I don't know what we're gonna do. I think the utility door shut when the power went off. Oh God, Abby! Oh no, Jesus, Jesus! Uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Wait a second. Move over, Freddy. Uh. Hey, there's a vent back here. What are you suggesting? Well. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's so hot in here. Uh, uh, it's so dusty too. Uh, uh. It can't be that much further. Uh, where do you think the arcade room is? Down here to the left, I think. Uh, she touched me funny. You gotta go tell Foxy. Oh. Carl, come back! Erm, um, his name's Mr. Cupcake, buddy. You know, those cameras are really weird. Yeah, they are. Feels like they're always staring at you. Yeah. Wanna go play Uno? Oh, I love Uno. <laughs> oh, I think he left it in the arcade room. Hey, Freddy broke the door down. Oh, yeah, he did. Come on, let's go get Uno. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Ness. What? Do you hear that cleaning behind us? I think I do. What is it? I'm the cupcake. What's going on? Stop my head! Come on, I'll kick it off. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta go, we gotta go. Vanessa, Vanessa, are you okay? I think he might have broke my hand. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna get through this, sorry. We need to get some ice. I think we're in the dining room. I'll see if I can get some in the kitchen. Just put your hand on the pizza. It's actually helping, oddly enough. <sighs> Thanks for your help, Mike. You're welcome. How's the freezer power on? I'm not gonna question it. I guess you're right about the stupid freaking robots. Why are you so obsessed with this place anyway? I just wanted to be like my hero, Dan Aykroyd from Ghostbusters. That's bizarre. What? It's a good movie. Let's go find Abby, and then we can go to the breaker. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting closer. I do, Mike. Please. <laughs> Foxy. What do you want? I'm trying to intimidate a little girl. That's kind of weird, but a big security guard woman f touched me funny. What? Where? This is like here and here. I think she just moved you, dude. Shut up. This is serious. I don't like being touched. Rule six, bro. Don't touch Freddy. Dude, that was a nice reference to Five Nights at Freddy's. I know, right? Anyway, this little girl called me Freddy, and it was making me really mad. That's a little weird. Uh, hi. Yo, what's up? Oh, how you doing? Hi. Wow, you guys are actually pretty nice. Yeah, and I'm not mad at you for calling me the wrong name. I'm sorry. I want to say Red Freddy. It's Foxy! Okay, Foxy. Okay, I'm less upset about this now. What's your name, little girl? Oh, uh, I'm Abby. 
Abby Schmidt. Nice to meet you, Abby Schmidt. Freddy, you can't say that. I said her name right, Abby Schmidt. It's Abby Schmidt. I have a speech impediment. Anyways, how would you like to become the next Freddy Fazbear? Really? I got to be Freddy? Hey, wait, what are you doing here? You see, if we get to find a new friend to take our place, then we get to retire. And I want to retire to a far, long ways of place named Nebraska. I don't think Nebraska's that far, Freddy. It is in my heart. But you don't just get to ditch the band, dude. Yeah, what the hell? What if I want to retire? I'm tired of being a stupid pirate. You can just stop being a pirate when you retire, dum-dum. I'll show you a dum-dum, diddly-dum-dum, diddly-dum-dum, diddly-doo. I want to retire. Ah, bar fight. <laughs> Finally, Abby? Mike! What the hell are they doing? Why are they saying my name? Why are they doing a bunch of weird stuff? What is he talking about? They're just having like a tussle. I want to retire! Oh god, they're gonna hurt Abby! Abby, go! You gotta get out of here! Run through the ball pit! Okay, Mike! Freddy, what are you doing in the ball pit? Hey, kid, you want to have a night on the town? Boy, would I! Yeah, come with me! Wee! Wee! Mike! Abby! <laughs> Abby! Mike, look out! Huh? Oh, man! Now Golden Freddy's gonna get to retire! I can't believe he just took Abby from right under her noses! What a dick! I was gonna get to live out my days on the Caribbean just like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> what do I do? Oh God! We gotta get to the generator. Ow! <laughs> get him! I can't see a thing. Neither can I. Where's the generator? Where is it? It's gotta be somewhere. Uh, uh, Mike! Mike! I think I found it. Good! Turn the power back on! Uh, Mike? He's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Owie! <laughs> Your stupid nose! <laughs> Oh god! Oh! Why is he so mean? Mike! Come on! It's back! Mike! Mike! Oh my god! Abby both sustained a hand related injury tonight! I got the power back on! Mike, come on, wake up! We gotta go get Abby! Huh? <laughs> Come on, you two. They won't be kept waiting. Oh boy, this is so cool. Yeah, I know, right? I've never been able to have a night on the town like this. Yeah, a night on the town is great. Where to? I don't always get the freaking weirdos. Is that famous YouTuber Cora X Kenshin? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm here. This YouTube ad rep doesn't play all that great. So I'm working a taxi cab job. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, so uh, where do you want to go? Uh, tell me what a night on the town. All right, night on the town, please. Uh, okay, we'll just drive a couple blocks around town then. Is that like your dad? What? Huh? Vanessa! Vanessa! Shh! Tie it up! Vanessa! Uh, what happened? Oh, my hand hurts. Where are we? I think this is a show stage? Huh? Bonnie? Wrong! 
the spring bonnie! Wait. Hey, s save your lore flashbacks for later. Huh? Who are you? Well, I'm your best friend, Spring Bonnie, of course. <laughs> Wait, is that the yellow rabbit dude I saw earlier? He knocked me out. He knocked me out too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Well, I dragged you here. <laughs> well, can you talk? The animatronics can't talk. That's because I'm not an animatronic, boy. How have we not picked up on it yet? Wait a minute. You're... You're... I actually don't know. Y you know... Phone guy... Steve Raglan... <gasps> Steve! You bastard! <laughs> Who the hell is Steve Raglan? He's the guy that hired me for this job. What are you doing here? And why are you dressed in a furry outfit? There's one secret I've yet to reveal to you, boy. Wait a minute. I'm not Steve Raglan. I'm... William... Afton. You! You're the one behind all the missing children incident murders! Yes, I was hoping you'd pick up on that. <laughs> Someone's a lore expert. I'd applaud you if I knew your name. Oh, well, I'm Vanessa. I don't care. <sighs> what is that golden one? What is it done with Abby? Abby? My sister, Abby. You must have sicked him on it, right? You're just controlling all these stupid robots to do all this crap. Oh, no, boy. They're really haunted. What? By all those kids I killed back in 1985. What do you want with us? Well, boy, to keep this place running the way it is, these robots get a little hungry. And so do I. Hungry for what? You know, they can make you pizza. Murder, you dipshit! Don't be mean to me! Uh, you know, Mike Schmidt sounded familiar on my phone. I think the wife mentioned it to me once. Yes, it's coming back to me now. What's coming back to him? I really wish I could see him. Yeah, well, what's coming back to you? Abby, that name you mentioned earlier. She was at my wedding. You're... You're my uncle? Oh, you're Jane's nephew. <laughs> oh my god, how did I not see it before? Does she know about this? Well, no, she doesn't. You know, I have taken her here a couple times, dressed up in the furry outfit. She's really into it, honestly. Ew. You, like, murdered children in that thing. Yeah, yeah. And then we get a little too wasted, so usually she drives me home. You're the reason she has those 14 DUIs? 14? I thought we only got, like, four. Oh, yeah, she was a drunkie way before she met you. I'm so confused right now. You're not gonna get away with this! Oh, but Mikey, I already have. Lunch time, boys! Or midnight snack time, boys! And girl. Oh no! Double oh no. He's gonna pay for not letting us retire! Yeah! Isn't that right, Carl? Yeah, he's gonna pay. He's gonna pay, I'll tell him what. He kicked me in the face! That Vanessa's hand tasted pretty good, though. Ew. So, what's your name? Oh, my name? I'm Garrett. Oh, cool. Wait a minute. What? I have a dead brother named Garrett. Whoa, that's so weird. Yeah, he died when I was too young to remember it, though. A little older than me. Well, not anymore, but... Huh, that's really weird. Such that's a, a strange, strange coincidence. coincidence. Who the hell are you talking to, kid? Talking to Garrett. Weird how you refer to your dad by his first name. It's not your dad. No, it's Garrett. He's my friend. Kid, am I gonna have to call the police? <sighs> no, don't call the police. Mike's gonna be so mad at me. Who's Mike? My brother. Where's your brother now? At Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, is that Freddy? Like Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Freddy? I think Freddy's brown. Drive before I kick your f***ing teeth in. Okay then, damn! Did you hear that? Hear what? I'm going crazy. This is a dream, right? You know what? Uh, you know what? Just in case it's not a dream, I'm not gonna drive off a bridge or nothing. Garrett? Yeah? What are you? Well, uh, I think I'm a ghost. Or a bear. Maybe both. That's really cool. Yeah, that is cool. 
I guess, a little bit. Apparently, if I get somebody to replace me, I get to go retire. I don't know what that means, but the others keep telling me that's how that works. That's weird. If you ever got the chance to retire, where would you want to go? Hmm, probably a big field. Lots of ice cream in it. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, uh, I normally like to get popsicles. Have you ever had the Spongebob one? <gasps> I love the Spongebob popsicle! What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Double scoop of vanilla with a big cherry on the top of it. I like that kind of ice cream. Yeah, me too. Garrett? Yeah? So if you're dead, if you're a ghost, what was your life like before? I don't really remember. All I remember is waking up one day cold, but then I met the others. It wasn't so bad. I haven't seen another person in a really long time. It's nice seeing you. I felt like I had to seize the opportunity, you know? That's why I took you on the end of the town. It's pretty great. Just, you know, it's been so long. It's the last to see another person. Garrett? Yeah? This has been fun and all, but I, I think I wanna go back to the pizzeria now. Okay, tell him to take us back there. Hey, Mr. Corey X. Kenshin. Yeah? Can you take us back to the pizzeria? Freddy's? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. Wait, can we stop for ice cream on the way? Uh, I'll ask him. Can we stop for ice cream on the way? Uh, yeah, all right. Sure. I don't know if any place is open, but we can, can try Walmart. Yeah. Time to feast. Oh god, Ness, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I hope Abby's okay. <laughs> now off to creating my mechanisms. Wait, William! What? What do you want? If you feed humans to them so often, how do you know they're not gonna get you? <laughs> silly, silly Mikey. Because I am one of them. <laughs> Well, looks like this is it. We couldn't survive Five Nights at Freddy's. We couldn't even survive one! <laughs> we got jump scared. I know. I just wish I got to see Abby again. And I wish that we didn't die. That too. <laughs> Looks like that's the end of Mike Schmidt. <laughs> Look, it's the tears of the night guards. What's going on? Hey! Hey, we're alive! Get away! It's impossible! How could they survive being jump scared? No way! Does anyone else hear a taxi pulling up? Thanks, Mr. Kenshin! So nice that guy didn't make us pay. I uh, know. Mike! What are you guys doing with my brother? Abby! Huh? It's the girl! He's back! Our chance to retire! It's returned! Are you guys still on about this whole retirement thing? I want to retire! Yeah, Freddy said he wants to retire, so I want to retire! I want to retire! You don't get to retire! <laughs> Can you help me free my brother? They tied him up! Alright. I took Abby on a night on the town, and you guys tying up her brother makes her sad, so stop doing that! Huh? We didn't do it, we were just gonna eat him. That's just as bad. Well, it's not happening. Uh, don't you do it. Uh, no. Bad Freddy. Stay. Uh, hey, stop that. Stop it. <laughs> but he looks so delectable. No, stop it. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, 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 Freddy, he's saving us. Oh my God. Oh, ow. <laughs> Here, I'll help and tie you guys. Thank you, Mr. Golden Freddy. My name's Garrett, dude.
Oh, I wish we could understand what he's saying. Yeah, it's just all like, oh, no, no, and all the gumble garble. Mike! Abby, I was so worried. I think I misjudged you, man. I thought you were gonna go hurt her, but you saved her. <laughs> Shucks, you know. Mm. Really wish I could understand what he was saying. It's just, it's just so much garble. Why can't you guys hear him? Is that like an old people thing? I'm like 22. Yeah, and I'm like the same age. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. Hello, my children, you feet. What the fuck? Uh oh. <laughs> oh God, it's the rabbit man. The rabbit man. Uh, Garrett. Garrett. I, I remember now. Get what? Garrett. My brother. He, he was lured into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in 1985, and he went missing. Wait, your brother is one of the five dead kids? And that's him? How did you not remember this until just now? Repressed trauma? Actually, that's a pretty good excuse. Well, no matter. Looks like I'll be finishing off the bloodline. Huh? <gasps> 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 oh, uh, Garrett, what are you doing? I'm not gonna let you bully me anymore, Rabbit Man. I finally get it now. These two people, not the blonde one, they're my family. I'm not gonna let you hurt my family. You can't stop me. I'm invincible. <laughs> I have a secret weapon. Ah, ah, wait, what, what, what was your secret weapon? The power of your old business partner. What? Hi there, William Afton. It's me, Uncle Hank. What? What? AKA Henry Emily. Oh, what are you doing here? Now I sentence you to Springlock from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the video game released in 2015. Toodles. But, wait, no, no! <laughs> That was a lot more brutal than I thought it was gonna be. I'm traumatized. Well, we uh, we did it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call for backup. Why, why didn't we do that before? Jeez, this place is a stinker. Yeah, I know. Happy you finally called us, Ness. Yeah. What were you doing here anyway? Uh, suspicious activity. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay. You know, the place hasn't had anybody in it for like a decade now. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, you, you're that guy I heard about the other day. Oh God. Huh. CPS, huh? Tell me about it. Well, considering we looked into the guy that died in here, uh, and he was a known serial killer, I don't think we find your aunt to be fit to take care of Abby anymore. Wait, really? Yeah, and considering you two seem to be fine enough parental figures to take care of Abby, I think things will be just fine. Wait, what? Dude, we didn't even, like, start a romance. What, what, when was that built up? I mean, we shared that one scene where I put your hand on ice. Are we really doing this? I mean, I got a house. You don't have to, like, love each other, but, like, you know, I, 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 if it helps me keep my sister, I, I'd be, it'd be really appreciated. I live in a shitty studio apartment, fine. Hey, Ness, didn't you say that there were five animatronics in here? Yeah, there were. So where is it? Ooh, I think he went and retired. Yeah. So if I have to ask, what are they gonna do with uh, William and all? Oh yeah, uh, they're gonna board it up. No sense in having a funeral. That's just that's just a pile of guts, and I think they're gonna demolish this building within like five years anyway. You're like we're not gonna give him a funeral? He murdered five children. I don't think he deserves a funeral. Besides, he had no known family besides your aunt. So if she wants to come, you know, mourn a corpse that's inside of a robot, I mean. Sure, she can have fun, I guess. Hmm. Neat. Well, I guess that's the end of our Five Nights at Freddy's. It was, it was one night. One night. It was one. Oh, hey, uh, Mike. If you need another job, I heard that Freddy's was opening a sister location called Circus Baby's Pizza World. You know, if, if you want to transfer.
Mike. Here we go again. Hey, it's me, Jack Black, here to sing the credits. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's where I wanna be. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's where I wanna be. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's where I wanna be. I can't believe they tease Circus Baby at the end of the movie. I know, right? My star role. My big break in the Hollywood. Man, so many of those effects were practical. They looked great. Loved the Corey's extension cameo. You know, Jack Black's been a longtime fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm happy he really got his cameo. Uh, folks, I don't mean to intrude, but, uh, you, you all gotta go. What? You guys gotta go. All right. Come on. No. Oh, okay.